We are at Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Crack Engine in Diami, Florida. A city where the temperature is over 100 and the IQ is in the low teens <laughs> at best. Then don't pop fun at the fans. They're loyal. Therapists call it delusional. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Diami Krakens. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Third down and three. And it's first and ten. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original look extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make it with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And it's first and ten. It looks like the defense hit that. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. And the defense scrummed it out, and Kitty's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
first and ten. up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Third down and a pussy here. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Big for Frank Graham and a ball can fall out. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, with the brain scrambler. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. 
And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. With kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. It was a frayed cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. Second and three. <laughs> and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! point but this guy could blow it the kick is good and as expected those are pretty much just guineas they need a good return here to set up the offense looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life he is but he's got no choice First and ten. The quarterback has had enough and called a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And, the defender, the and he held on to that one for a first down. Picking up 
Chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Pass and catch for three. Receiver needs to break some tackles. Third down and eight. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. Third down and eight. Take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? The defense uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. Having all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And then put six points on the board. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Wrestling? <laughs> the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast. Ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Bricks' match stupsing time. That's why the girls called me Speedy Gonzalez. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is... Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down and more. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Good for 10 yards. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. Uh, I missed it, Grim. I was out in the concourse grabbing some food, and there was this mutant leopard line, and he left in an angry hub. Why did he leave, Bricks? Well, people kept dipping their chips in him. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Steam a gain of seven there. Second and three. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. First down to three. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he more of a downest guy than a speed thing, Grim. He's running from his team. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. A 
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And that'll be second and eight to go. He's not going down. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play second down and five and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down see if they can get something going here first and four Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. It's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks. 
looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. Second and three. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And that'll bring up second and one. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. It's a whole lot of play. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. Nicely done for a first. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Man, this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. And like a monkey trying to... First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hands nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. First down and one. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five <laughs> and it's first and ten <laughs> and he just slipped away pow with the brain scrambler if you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref's dirty trick. They're back up here on first. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the MFL because whenever they juice, he can go all the way. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He scores! <laughs> And they line up for the extra point. Shoot. 
straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. First down, you know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't lowland. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he went off to the races. You can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. Well, you mistake a man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> that's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. <laughs> and the two minute warning sounds. There's not much time left at all. Third down and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden the ex murderer Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Oh. 
Second down in a lot. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Yeah, it's still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the charred parts. Third and two. free and has open field in front of him. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the refs some cash. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Third down, and they stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Brickens lose on their home turf. Is there anything that could be more disappointing to a Diami fan? Well, how about when you go to the beach and a 70-year-old German guy with a pop belly bends over with his G-string and shows in a whole caboose? They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill.